well my students friends of bsc 6 semester here is uh, news for you i don't know whether you take it as good or bad regarding your pending examination that is fifth sem examination as well as sixth sem examination university has announced that the mode of examination mode of examination will be mcq multiple choice questions in this mode whether it is paper 1 physics or paper 2 physics the syllabus remains same but the the way you are writing your examination is different uh, probably for this time i don't know about the future and i'm not the right person to say about the future but present situation demands as per the university instructions that your pending examination that is fifth sem will be also multiple choice and the sixth semester examination will be also multiple choice that means your paper question paper will be of 80 marks only not 124 and there will according to present situation there won't be any choice for the student that is for every question there is a choice but question wise fixed question number that is 40 questions will be framed and for each question there will be four alternative answers out of four there will be one correct answer multiple choice question pattern so according to this how uh, as a teacher we have to guide and we will guide uh, based on our syllabus okay first they will conduct i think sixth semester and then fifth semester there will be a gap will prepare for the odd semester later later but what is in our hand is six semester well uh, let me cover first the syllabus and in mind i will prepare the objective type questions and i will put before you so we were discussing about input output functions or input output operations they are called as functions and mainly in our syllabus they have mentioned formatted input and formatted output formatted input is a scan f function and formatted output is a print f function f stands for function here so formatted output other day i have put a video on this still will cover from this point that is formatted output the c language provides the print f function print f function print f say this function and this function will display the data on the standard output device called as monitor this print f function is included in the header file what we call it as pre processor statement that is studio h s t d i o dot h header file in other languages also this read and write statement here it is similar to the write statement that is output statement this print i will write the format of print yeah the syntax of print yeah okay once again though we have discussed this multiple choice question on this will be set i'll give you an example here print yeah yeah say this is control string 
string double quote com double quote and then comma and then variable list variable list this is this is a, in fact accurate say syntax then i asked this the printf is having the syn correct syntax find out the syntax of correct syntax of or format of printf okay they will form the four alternatives here with little correction a student who have gone through it who have read it is able to find out this so this control string control string as i have explained this it specifies the type of data and the format in which this to be displayed format in the sense field with specification to be format in which the values of the variable should be displayed this function is to display on the monitor the variable list list the variable list here list of variables to be displayed on the monitor this variable list will be displayed with its value that is print f the output statement called as formatted output statement other day i have given so many examples regarding this let us uh, go for okay. okay let's go for the examples here hmm. uh, instead of examples how integer output uh, other day i have given some examples regarding this print app let this syntax be here if this data type is integer say output now data type is integer output how do we write in the control string that is important the integer number a whole number number without a decimal point is to be displayed on the monitor and that is displayed using the earlier table called as character group table you should remember that character table so here using this character group d person d integer number can be displayed using this character group that is conversion letter d that is for integer digits it can say is displayed and here the variable list i'll give an example here print okay print say print this should be small print f in parenthesis double quote say percent symbol d converting character close this double quote comma and then integer variable See, they may write anything here that is declared depending upon the program now what is the meaning of this so here this will integer variable should be printed and its value here suppose or assume this integer variable is having value say it is 234 say it is 234 okay so integer value will be printed or displayed on the monitor with the 2 3 no decimal point here now if you go for specific way that is this number should be given its field width 
if I give the length of this, how many dz it should have? Because it is a processed and programmer, the C user must know what is the number of digits to be printed on the monitor using this format. If you know this, you can specify width of that number integer and that can be written I will write thus modifying thus okay this percent symbol say for example here 5 the number of digits okay and D is for integer close this comma and some variable X here close thus if this is D in output formatted output statement if we write this and say this x is having some value say the value of x say it is equal to 6 7 8 6 1 there are 5 digits in this 1 2 3 4 5 so in the output, I will write it in the box that is on the monitor, it will be displayed. This is 1, say this is 6, this is 8, this is 7 and then 6. This x value will be displayed like this. Now, if I give the same specification and if I give x is equal to this, this, say x is equal to not this, x is equal to say 3 digits, what happens? We must know, the user must know, say here I will rub this, we have given field specification for this data type that is integer, whole number and the variable, this is in a proper format formatted output statement and say through the calculation through the program x is having this value that is 678 now computer the machine will have the justification and justification will be done from the rightmost column of this this is first column second third so this will be 8, this will be 7 and this will be 6. Remain two columns will be blank. Okay. So if you want to give the specification, field specification here so that the number variable or the value of this variable or value of this integer, integer variable here should be justified from the leftmost column instead of rightmost column. We will take example of this type. Let us take that type of example also here. This. Okay. Missing in just a minute. Twenty five to twenty six. Yeah. Uh, this is here. Say to write that. Hope you got this. Suppose I write this. That is percent five D. Five is the number of digit. That is field specification. Width of a number. Number of digits. And we have given that. Suppose I write this and say x is having three digit value that is say 678. Then this output, the content of this variable or integer x will be displayed on the monitor from the justifying it from the rightmost column that is 
rightmost column A76 and the remaining two will be say empty or blank spaces. I want to give another point here. I will insert a minus sign here. That is negative 5D in this. It's the same example. What will be the output? Output of this, say assume this x is having the same value in that case when I write it is equal to minus 5d that means it will be machine will justify this digit the value of x from leftmost that is 6 say 7 and say 8 and then blank spaces here Okay, this is how it gets justified. Suppose I want to, in earlier exam, uh, means example, say the value is 6, 7, 8 and I have made written this. If I add 0 here, what will be the output? For this, instead of writing, say negative, if I write 0, 5, the output will be say here first one 0 the second one 0 the value of x is this say this is 6 say this is 7 this is say 8 0 0 6 7 8 provided we write here 0 sometimes if you specify the field width say here I will drop this Okay. If I specify the field with 3D and say this variable is having say more digit, says it is 6, 7, 8, 2, 4, right? 6, double. And we have given only 3D. So the remaining 3 digits will be allotted by the machine for this and the output will be say here 6, 7, say 8 and this is 2 and then 4 and then 6. Okay, that can also be done. Sometimes I need a value of this variable list, a positive number or a negative number there, suppose I write this 4 plus 4d plus 4d. So, width is 4 including this plus sign, including this plus sign, and say this number x having the value say x is equal to some number 673. Now there are three digits, one, two, three, and one sign. The output will be displayed on the monitor without any boxes here. For our convenience, we are drawing this. This is four. It will be from the right, left side justification, six, then seven, and then three, and a blank space. It will not add zero here. The value will change. It's simply a blank space. Hope you got this. Then we have other examples also. What is called as uh, say okay. This is about the integer formatted out output integer. Fine. Then let us go for the floating point output floating point output let's go for that also floating point output so floating point or the real point a uh, real number real number in its formatted output that is print a function say point here the number is floating point floating point how it comes floating point output 
In that case, character group used floating point output is real number output. A floating point number can be displayed either in decimal form or in a scientific notation that is using this character group percent f or and you can say percent e percent e this is for a decimal number right a real number and this is for a scientific that is scientific in the sense 2 into 10 raised to 4 this we write 2.0 into e to the power 04 like this it will appear on monitor and this is called a scientific way and decimal point say here it is 24.00 if that number is having value 24 so I will take an example here this is for decimal point number and this is for the scientific way okay. print f print yeah say this in double quote percent yeah okay double quote comma say x this is right way to write this there is only one data group you can have the multiple data group also okay so here say imagine this x is having the value 24 after processing process, process data the value of this variable is x say x it will be equal to 24 but how it appears on the monitor this will appears as 24.0000 including this the six decimals so this is how this print that is person f yeah, data character group is used for a decimal point number or a real number now this can be used in say you can use the width also field width as we have done in earlier exam examples i'll drop only this say if i write 6.2 here 6.2 yeah say double quote comma you say some variable p and this okay here the value of this p where p is equal to say 543.671 now this field specification 6 it will say this this statement here which we have written formatted output statement so specifies to print number having maximum 6 character maximum 6 character including a decimal point this indicates how many characters this number is having so it will have maximum six characters including a decimal point now the value of p is this but it will print like this say the number of columns i write from this this first column say second column third four fifth six say this will be column number one that is five then four then three then decimal point okay and then six and seven this will be eliminated this says that after the decimal point there are two digits though the variable or this list variable list or variable will have three digits it will truncate two two digits 
So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In all 6 characters including decimal point. After the decimal point, that's point 2, it is not a number. The two columns here, this will print. So you are instructing to a machine to print the output that is the value of content of the variable P on the monitor in this fashion that is 543.67. Point, point Hope you got this. Let us go for say the same example I will modify it with this say instead of 2 I will write it 1. So the meaning is saying here, you know, there are six characters in a decimal, that's six digit sequence of digit, including decimal point, and after the decimal point, there is only one digit. Let us take the same example, and here it will display on the monitor, right? That is, say, last one, seven. The 6, 7, it will be rounded up and it makes 4, 7, say here decimal point, say this is 3, say this is 4, and say this is 5, and this blank, okay. We have not asked the computer to justify from the left most column, we have automatically or by default, it gets justified from the right most column. Now, if I write here the negative, same thing, how it can be written? That is, we are asking the machine to justify the content of the variable P from the leftmost column. That is, say here 5, 4, 3, point, 7. If I write here negative, okay. Now I will write, uh, use this percent E character group, E is more for, it is for the floating point number but it is called as scientific notation. Say I will write here the example print, P R R N T print, we are into parenthesis double quote, say percent E complete this and say Z and Z is a variable which has some value. Let us go for its value and see. Fine. Say the value of Z. Here you can write anything. Say 5.56.6732. Let us see how it appears. We have not given any field width here, not any sign. It will justify from the right. So maximum, the column wise, it will be, so there will be, say, 10 columns, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So here 5, it is a the floating point number or real number, 5, a decimal point, say here 6, 6, this digit, this digit, 7, 3, point, 2, E exponential, say for plus sign, 0, one more number, that is 1. The value of the variable remains same, this 56.6732, but it will be printed in this form that you should remember. If I write the same function and say the value of z, value of z, value of z is say z is equal to 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Same thing, Z is having 0 0.05. This will be printed or displayed on the monitor 
with the spot decimal point say zero zero say this is zero zero say one two three four five one two three four five okay e and then sign and then say zero and then two this is nothing but say z is equal to point zero five we write this that is equal to say five into ten raised to minus two same as thus okay it will be in c language it will be printed like this this is about the floating point output and integer output what happens this formatted output that is print f statement or a function it is valid even for character type output say character output character output character output and the string output we have this say format is same print print yeah okay the parenthesis double quote percent and here we use this c character group that is for character single character and say here is character we need not write and and this is terminated fine and the, here the ch is the character type variable and when this statement is executed by a machine you can have a screen on this that is ch right that is character or its ascii code can be printed here that is a now for a character output this is character group is percent c and for a string it is percent s yes. we'll go for this person s yes. writing the same thing that is print f print f say double quote percent small s o close this double quote comma and say here a string constant or a message here if you want to execute this statement for the output statement that to format it in a string output constant this is a char type variable char and here we declare this char type variable that is 